So would you like to get started and create your very first form directly into WordPress? I'm going to show you how to do this in a very easy way. The very fast thing you want to do is to create a WordPress account or look out for a host. If you haven't already, I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description. You can try it out with Hosting. It's an amazing section where you can just create different websites and host of WordPress and so much more website developer. So once you actually create your very first account here into WordPress, you can download out the latest version of the WordPress and choose a web hosting provider that supports the WordPress. Inside here, you want to install a forum plugin. So in this case, what I'm going to be doing is to go a new section and I'm going to side into my actual hosting provider of WordPress. Now that I'm inside the WordPress using my hosting, I'm going to add a forum plugin. So to add a forum functionality to the WordPress site, we need to install the forum plugin. So one of the most popular options is the BB Press, but of course what you can do is to look out for a new one. So I'm going to go here into the left pod. Into the left pod, let's go and scroll into plugins. Into plugins, I focus into add new plugin. Now here, what I need to do is to add a new. So I scroll a little bit down and I hit into search plugins. So here, what you can do is to look out for the BB press. If you don't want to use a BB press, what you can do is to just look out for the word forums. And it's going to be showing you a lot of elements which you can just get started totally for free. I can suggest that you use BB press because this forum software is for WordPress and is totally for free and has really great compatibilities with both of the WordPress. So I'm going to try to create here and to install now. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be using BB press. You can use whatever you want to, but I can suggest that you use BB press. Let's go for install and activate. Now that my actual new section has now been active, what you can do is to reload your page once again and configure the BB press settings. If you focus into the lab hub, what you can do is to make sure that your plugins has now been correctly installed. Into the WordPress dashboard, let's go into here, the lab hub, and focus inside the settings. Inside settings, you should configure your actual new forums section. And here, what you can do is to adjust the settings like the forum visibility. The elements, for example, the user roles, the email notification. Uh, so make sure you customize these settings to create the best experience for your forum users. For example, I can add uh, roles, I can add loadings, I have editing, I can add anonymous if you want to enable this, forum features, auto and beam links, revisions, favorite description, and so much more elements. Once you've finished with all of these elements, what you can do is to hit now into save changes. And now let's get started with creating a forum categories. So it is time to create your forum categories once again here into the dashboard. Instead of going into settings, let's go and go all the way up into forums. And here into forums, click into new forum or add new. Inside here, what you can do is to enter the name of the description of the forum category, such as general description, uh, product support, feature requests. So let's go here into the upper side and type something easy, for example, general discussions. And now click into published to create your very first new category. So you can repeat, repeat this process to create additional categories as you needed to. So let's say, for example, let it go for featured request and I publish it and I created another forum and I can do much more so and on and on. So as you can see now, I hit into all the forums and you can see that we have two forums created, the general discussions and the feature request. So we can add more forums and topics. With your categories in place, you can start adding forums and topics. So go into forums as you are in here we can add into add new and for example under the general discussions here what you can do is to add introductions of topic chat into edit i can add even a contact form if you want to in the descriptions i can see all the people who have subscribed into my forum and i have parent visibility status and the type now let's focus into customizing the forum appearance so to focus into the appearance to ensure your form matches the look and feeling of your website, you can customize it by focusing into the WordPress themes, but you can enhance the design with additional customizations. So let's just focus into the lip hard 
and it says appearance. Usually appears here into appearance. And into appearance, let's click into the actual themes or into the editor so you can customize directly into the WordPress dashboard. So I hit now into the editor. And here what you can do is to adjust the colors, you can adjust fonts, you can adjust layout, you can adjust the settings to match your branding. You can add buttons, custom links, category links, uh, tag links, and so much more elements. Even what you can do is to add your site logo if you wanted to. To manage the user roles and permissions is crucial for maintaining a healthy for environment. So into the BB Press, what we can do is to add different users into the left part. Let's go and focus into users and go for all users. So you can assign moderators to help you oversee discussions and enforce form rows inside here. So we can add much more elements. I can add different roles, for example, the customer, subscriber, contributor, author, and even I can create an actual role if I wanted to. So lastly, what you want to do is just to now attract more members into your forum and then you're actually good to go. Monitor and moderate the forum and regulate uh, encourage respectful and constructive discussions by setting clear and form rules by the guidelines. So guys, there you have it, how we can easily create form using WordPress. A really easy tutorial. So we hope this guide helped you building a thriving community on your website. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Tax Rest for more WordPress tutorials and more tips. Thank you so much for watching the video guys. Hopefully we can all see you next time.